This episode, we have two more games that can help improve your typing and offer an easy to pick up gaming experience. No A roll of my ugly mug this episode, as my recording time was pretty limited. This episode, Type Fighters, which you can download from Steam, and Type Gun, a free browser game. Type Fighters is a really great collection of mini games that test skill, accuracy, vocabulary, and your ability to think quickly under pressure. The games here are really original and are a refreshing change from the usual fare. You can also import custom dictionaries, which I did since I found some of the words in the default dictionary really obscure. I prefer to stick to more useful words. I was really blown away by this one as it's so simple and very no frills, but the eight modes are really fun to play. Multiplayer is going to be tough though, with the game being pretty inactive at the moment. It would be really cool to set up a server though if I ever figure out how that works. Type Fighters is definitely going to be a favourite of mine though. Type Gun adds its own little something to the mix with a really cool retro arcade look. Arcade Mode gives you a choice of difficulties and you can choose to have a near rival or yourself act as a ghost to spur you on. The challenges give you a target to achieve and in doing so you're rewarded with gems that allow you to progress to the next set of challenges. Practice mode lets you choose a skill level so beginners can focus on just a few keys while superhumans can have all the keys available. I like that there's a nice way to see your progress through the game if you log in and create a profile like I did tied to my Twitter account. I think this is a game I'll keep coming back to since the modes are quite different to some of the other games we're looking at. I also really dig the presentation, and the pages seem to load quickly, making it easy to jump between modes. So let me know what you thought of Type Fighters and Type Gun, and the other games in this series, and I'll see you in episode 5.